We begin in East Cleveland, where some drivers say their primary mode of transportation is being held hostage by the city. Dozens and dozens of vehicles are being held in the East Cleveland impound lot, leaving drivers tied down by hundreds in storage impound fees and what they say is an overly aggressive city towing policy. Now, East Cleveland City Council President is calling for a full investigation. They'll come and my car get towed and then I got to pay $300. That's, it, that's ridiculous. East Cleveland Mayor Brandon King has said the policy is needed to deal with a large number of abandoned vehicles. But as News 5 investigator Joe Paganakis reports, some car owners say it's victimizing low-income families. Donnell Wilson says he can't believe it's likely he will never see his 1997 Chevy Express van again. Come to work, didn't dawn on me and paid attention a couple hours later. I'm like, where's my van? Van gone. Wilson, who owns SS&S Discount Car Audio in East Cleveland, says his van was towed from the parking lot in front of his shop two years ago. Wilson says police told him it was taken because overnight parking isn't allowed at the shopping plaza. But after more than a year of wrangling with City Hall to get the van back, Wilson tells us the city wanted to charge him more than $700 in impound storage fees to recover it. I'm not paying that. For what? I park my vehicle in front of my business and you take it from me. Months later, Wilson says the city told him it took possession of his van and it was scrapped by mistake. Wilson says the city offered him $250 to make up for the loss. It was a pretty decent van. Everything in it was brand new from motor transmission. But Wilson believes the van was worth more than $2,000. We're going to be looking to open up an investigation uh, first and foremost. East Cleveland City Council President Twan Billings believes dozens of low-income families who can't afford the city's steep impound fees are being victimized, unfairly losing their only means of transportation. An issue he brought up to East Cleveland Mayor Brandon King during a February 20th council meeting. You know, if they got cars that was towed in East Cleveland, they don't know where their car is at, so we can help them get their cars back. That's all I'm asking. Now, King said he would talk to anyone who believes their car is being unfairly held here at the city impound lot. The city of East Cleveland sent News 5 a copy of its ordinance that indicates after a notice is sent to a vehicle owner's last known address, that owner has 10 days to claim their vehicle or the city will take possession. Wilson believes the current law is simply too tough. Oh, the changes have to be made. I mean, they can't keep going on doing stuff like this. Billing says he'll work to change East Cleveland towing and impound laws in the coming months. We capitalizing on people's misery, and I feel like that's that's wrong. And News 5 reached out to East Cleveland Mayor Brandon King for this story right here at East Cleveland City Hall. We're still waiting for a response. You know, News 5 will follow through on this developing case. Reporting here in East Cleveland, I'm News 5 investigator Joe Paganakis. And current East Cleveland law deems a vehicle abandoned under the Ohio Revised Code if it's left on private property for more than 72 hours without permission. This would then give the city the right to tow the vehicle to its impound lot. And new developments on a story News 5 investigator Joe Paganakis followed through on for you yesterday. Less than 24 hours after Joe reported on continued littering and dumping in a Buckeye neighborhood, the city of Cleveland's Department of Public Health was on East 130th Street assessing that situation. Officials say they met with the store manager to discuss fixing the rodent infestation. They also issued a violation and ticket to the Family Dollar Corporation in California. Health inspectors will be following up next week.